Hi, Brian Jones here. I am going to try to be as quick as I can. This is an on-the-fly, uh, real chunky uh, video. Main thing is to get some points across to you. I have a video editing program, but I don't want to take the time to make it fancy. So here we go. Here is the signal tower. <laughs> I, I have very little room to work in here. Anyway, it's sitting on top of an old cassette deck recorder, and I'll tell you why cassette is important to me in a moment. Anyway, all this thing is is an acoustic chamber, and it's got one of a pair of computer speakers in there hooked to this little MP3 player. You can play waves on it too, it's an audio player. Anyway, I have on here some original uh, sounds of the Spiracom that Stephen Rourke, Dr. Rourke, had sent me. I modified it a little bit, I think I laid backwards, over, forwards, and EQ'd it a little bit, but this audio that he had sent me, that he got from Thomas Pratt, is uh, a lot more pristine and higher fidelity than everything else I've heard that was made public way back when. But anyway, so let me turn this thing on. I want you to hear what I call a carrier track. I don't know how technical of a term that is, but here's what it sounds like. I can't really tell. Anyway, there, right on top of this thing, there's an opening here. This is just an acoustic chamber, really, and and so sounds will come out. This is a cloth grill, like kind of like an old speaker grill, you would say. So sounds can come through it, and you probably can hear that. But here's what I want to show you what I do, and this this makes a lot of difference. I've tried a lot of experiments. I've got a microphone right here, which is hooked to the uh, the um, cassette recorder. Now normally I listen as I'm recording through these headphones that are hanging off this guitar stand over here, but for right now just to try to uh, let you hear what I am doing, uh, I've got a hook to these amplified speakers, battery powered, and there's a little bit of a feedback issue, but let's see what we've got here. Let's see, there you go. But What I want to show you I want to show you. Sorry about that. Okay, so really, uh, we'll just let's just rough it through here. Here's the, let me turn that down just a little bit. I had it kind of set up. Anyway, what I'm doing, and I call these pseudo syllables. You know, it's um, it's not an exact science, but what I do is I plunge the microphone, and you can do it in all different ways. I really do think that this is. Science has not got a way to put this stuff in a box yet, but listen to watch the motions Okay, now listen over here on the speakers Okay, you get the gist of that now let me show you why I find it important to uh, Use audio. I, I think I w I'd like to show you this too because it it really makes a difference. The reason I use audio cassette is because I modified this here deck. This thing's obsolete. Pretty much magnetic tape's obsolete now. Let me um, put this in here. I'm trying to do this. I'm right-handed. I'm doing this left-handed, one-handed. Okay, so here we go. Now listen to this. There's a the, Now this, I didn't record what we just played there. This is me talking probably. Here we go. I just want to show you how on the fly this is. Now this switch right here, this is not, as you can see, says auto reverse. I dislocated the linkage going to the head switch, so the motor direction will change, but the head stays on the same side of the tape. So in other words, instead of shifting over to the other side, which would be proper for the direction, it stays on the same side. So you got a dual direction playing deck. Now check this out. Something like that. Thank you. You can't, I don't must and us send it something like that. That I don't must and us send it something like that. That I don't must and us send it something like that. That I don't must and us send it something like that. You get the idea how re, uh, responsive that is. So what I do is I do a recording session. I'm going to show you. I'm going to stick this camera on a tripod and show you what I'm talking about. And um, so uh, let me get this uh, going on here. Back in the deck.
seconds. I'll, I'll just record over the last few seconds of what's on there. So what am I doing here? Okay, with that going on, let's see, let me check my checklist. Got one over here. Where there it is, right there. Uh, let's see, so many times. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get this camera put on the tripod, and then I'm going to show you how I do this. Okay, it's probably a good spot right there. So, here's the deal. So, <laughs> let me get this extension cord out of here. Ooh. Okay, so, these, like I said, I listen, and I've done that for years, even when I'm out in the so-called field. If I was recording something, I would listen to the amplified output through the headphones that the microphone picks up so so here's the deal there's the grill I was telling you about right there I've got this yes it is part of a vacuum system but it's a brush attachment and it's got the, the great shape that kind of like a vortex or a venturi it just squeezes it into this tube the bristles sit right on here and get some good traction got my harness right here oh yeah and this end right here matching fabric right here it's just for decoration more than anything but I put a lot of time into it huh. I'm sure uh, anyway uh, let's see where am I at here microphone and I adjust my volume level or record level right here I turned it up for that other demonstration so I usually will zero out the meter get the carrier track going on the little player Playing. So what I do, I think hopefully I'm in range here. I'm now instead of just doing this down here, I'm going up in here, and it, it seems to enhance it coming through the tube. So now I'm let me just put it this way. I don't know who's maybe here. This is very enigmatic stuff. Is anybody here that would like to chime in on this little video? Uh, demonstration presentation. Anybody here? And you can you can just uh, feel the, just whatever motions you want to do that, to make the choppy sounds. I have documented a lot of messages. I'll, I'll just keep all that quiet for right now. I just kind of wanted to show people what I'm doing here. And by the way, you can try this. Um, I've, I've taken a microphone and done this to the car speaker, AM between stations. I've taken this carrier down and played it through headphones and, and then done the thing right up to one side of the headphones. And it does help relay consciousness or whatever it is. So anyway, Brian here. Does anybody have a message for the folks at the ITC bridge? Okay, I guess I'm going to leave it at that. I hope I covered everything enough. I, you know, we'll see. Thank. <laughs> Short cords, not a lot of room. Okay, thanks for watching.